Hi, and welcome to Exploring Careers in Animal Science. My name is Erin Humphrey. I'm a 4-H educator out of Cuba County, and I would like to just discuss with you today some of your career options um, if you want to go into the animal world. To start, I want to talk to you about a few famous animal scientists that you may have heard of. Start with Jane Goodall. She is a primatologist, and she is very well known for her work with chimps and gorillas. Temple Grandin is an animal science professor, and she has been a huge advocate for humane treatment of livestock before slaughter. Jack Hanna is a zookeeper, a zoo director. Um, most people grew up watching him on television on Saturday and Sunday mornings um, and seeing him on lightning shows with all his wild animals. And many of you already have heard of Bindi Irwin. She has taken after her father, Steve Irwin, as a conservationist in Australia. So is animal science the right major for you? Are you prepping to go to graduate or veterinary school? Are you interested in an animal related field or research? Are you driven to manage a farm or other businesses related to animals? Are you pursuing a career in agriculture or sales or service? Are you hoping to impact our communities through community-based education? So animal science major is ranked number 122 in the list of most popular majors. There's about 7,500 degrees awarded each year and that number is steadily increasing. And for us in this area, Cornell University is actually ranked number one for animal science across the country. U.S. agriculture is a huge business. It brings in over $900 billion a year. And animal agriculture is a huge component of U.S. agriculture. It employs a large number of animal science graduates. So what's the job outlook look for animal scientists? There are about 58,000 animal jobs um, between 2015 and 2020. In that same amount of time, we only put out 35,000 graduates. So the outlook is pretty good. Um, it's pretty optimistic for this field. The median salary is about $58,000, and that depends on whether you're doing an entry-level, not-for-profit, zoo, wildlife work, or the high end is sales or a veterinarian. So I don't, we're not gonna go over all these career opportunities, but I just wanted to show you a list. Animal science comprises a lot of different careers. So these are just some of the things that um, you could look into if you're interested in doing an animal science degree and um, to go on from there. Um, and we're just gonna go through a few of these today. To start with, we're gonna start with a veterinarian. Um, the most people, the majority of animal science degree students um, are working towards getting into a vet school. Um, not all of them that start school end up going to vet school for various reasons, um, but let's talk about what a vet is. So they require an advanced doctorate degree after you have three or four years of undergraduate under, in your belt. Veterinarians provide health care to a variety of species, um, unlike human medicine, where you just treat people, you have to know all the different health types in cats, dogs, cows, horses, sheep, iguanas, um, so it takes a lot of skill. Now, the good and bad things about veterinary medicine, um, it's an amazing career. The Average vet school graduate graduates with more than $165,000 worth of debt. The average starting salary right out of school is only about $62,000. This is the only career I'm gonna to talk to you about money, um, mostly because of the huge debt. So if you're thinking about becoming a veterinarian, just make sure that it is exactly what you wanna do because you don't wanna get into a lot of debt before um, and then decide that this is not the career for you. So what can a veterinarian do? They can work in private practice. They can work with just companion animals, dogs and cats, exotic animals. They can work um, in large animal, um, horse, uh, um, horse vets or um, farm vets, um, and they can do a, um, a little bit of both. 
Um, there's also a specialty practice where they can get bird certified in certain specialties, surgery, internal medicine, dermatology, ophthalmology, there's a specialty for anything. Those veterinarians tend to make a little bit more money. You can also work in research or academia. Most of those people um, that are, are working in academia or research do have a board certification and a specialty. Um, you can work in zoo medicine. That's not on my list, but you can work in zoo medicine. You can work for the government. You can work for the USDA or the FDA, or um, you can work just advising them on laws um, related to animal welfare. Um, and you can work in the military. Um, the military does have a program where if you're in the reserves, um, they um, you give them a certain amount of time and they put you through a veterinary school. Um, so it's a, it's a good um, deal for that. Um, the next one I want to talk to you about is a conservation officer or a game warden. There are two different jobs. We're going to talk to you both about uh, um, here. So um, a game warden um, works to managing and protect um, environmental areas um, from conservation work, publicity, scientific state um, monitoring. Um, they are employed by many different organizations. So charities can um, have conservation um, officers, um, the local authorities, wildlife organizations, the government, conservation groups, they can all employ conservation officers or game wardens. Um, conservation officer, um, they raise funds to support wildlife research. They bring awareness for endangered species issues. Um, they uh, manage conservation issues in both zoos and in field sites. Uh, a lot of conservation um, officers out there um, can, can manage efforts going on in a lot of different countries, um, whether it's here at home or um, if they go away and um, spend some time in the field. The game warden authorizes um, the well is authorized to enforce the rules and regulations related to wildlife. So they can arrest violators, they can seize weapons or game that has been um, killed um, out of season. Um, sometimes they assist in research, they investigate damage, they um, they really help a lot with um, the environment. All right, another um, area that you can um, work in with animal science is academia. So teaching, uh, that, this can range from working in a big university um, where you conduct research um, or you teach. Uh, a lot of those um, jobs do require advanced degrees, um, at a minimum maybe a master's of science, at a, um, but most of them require a PhD. But there are also positions positions in high schools, community colleges, zoos, cooperative extension programs, where you can um, be required to teach um, and your job is education. Sales representatives. So these people work in veterinary pharmaceuticals. They work in livestock feed companies like Purina. They work with pet products, um, promoting pet products. Um, their salary is usually a combination of their base salary plus commission. They get benefits. Um, it does require usually a lot of travel. You have to be really good with people. Barriers. Um, most horse people have a barrier that they know pretty well. Um, they provide comprehensive equine foot care services. They can work in the racetrack or the farm. They work in zoos. Um, so they deal with a lot of different animals. And every animal needs um, a diff has different requirements, whether they're a pet horse or a racehorse. Um, you don't need any special certification um, to become a farrier, but there are programs out there um, to teach and um, some apprenticeship programs out there too, that's a good way to start. Dairy reproduction managers. So these are the people that run the large dairy farms. Um, they also tend to be the ones that are supervising herd health. State animal health inspectors. So these are the guys that go into livestock markets, pet dealerships, poultry markets, dog shelters. Um, they investigate for violations, they want to make sure that animal welfare is being taken care of, that you don't have these dogs stuck in little tiny crates, that the, um, the chickens in your egg um, facility are at the proper distance away from each other. Um, they do tend to work with the state veterinarian um, 
and they do help with education of the public and for veterinary clinics and um, dog control officers, shelters, uh, making sure that everybody knows what the current statutes are. Horse farm managers. So these are the people that oversee the, and manage the operations of a boarding facility, a training facility, a breeding facility. Um, they are responsible for taking care of the horses, making sure they get out, get their exercise, get stay clean, that they've seen the vet and the farrier on a regular basis, that their feed is adequate, they're not gaining weight, they're not losing weight. Um, a lot of them also are in charge of a lot of the finances and making sure they stay within their operating budget. And some of them have to make sure that the grounds of the facility stay maintained. Nutrition representative. So these people um, tend to work with the feed companies. Um, Purina is a, one of the big ones. Um, they, um, they make sure that all the ingredients uh, are what they're supposed to be. They, they go to the farms and they offer technical support on how to feed your cattle. Um, they monitor the inventories in their, their facility. Uh, they make sure that they can get the, par the products into the marketplace. There's different jobs for, um, for each of these. Uh, some of them are into marketing. Some of them are into how do you get the best quality food for the, less, for the, um, mo the least amount of money. Um, so each, working in nutrition, there's a lot of different um, opportunities. And equestrian forensic expert, I threw this one in. Um, these are the people that go to the, um, mostly to, um, to the racetracks and they, they investigate the accidents. They make sure that, and the, um, they make sure that everything's on the up and up. Um, sometimes they have to go to court and um, testify in court, um, but a lot of this has to do with insurance issues. A writer for an agricultural publication. So if you have an animal science background, you there's a lot of online blogs now, there's a lot of online magazines. So these are the people that go in, they write articles on your topics. And it can be anywhere from horse management to farm management to pesticides. But the um, these are the people that write their articles. A lot of times they have to edit them themselves and take the pictures themselves um, and they get the information out there. The USDA inspector, um, these are the people that work for um, the government that go in and they check out the farms, they make sure that um, diseases aren't being spread around, that all the animals are healthy, they go to wildlife facilities, zoos, um, they want to make sure that animals are in good care, that the humans are staying safe, that um, everybody is following the regulations and federal standards that are set out there. A meat inspector. Um, these are the, the these people tend to work for the FDA or the USDA. They ensure that your meat is safe. Um, that there's not any contamination going on. They, um, a lot of times that they're the ones that will uh, help regulate whether or not a food recall needs to happen um, and find out where all that food went. They, they inspect the, um, the meat and they also inspect live animals and the, um, the facilities to make sure that there aren't any disease going on. They also make sure that all the labeling requirements are followed. All right, so you decided that you want one, a career in animal science. This is what you're going to expect when you go to school. You're going to be taught nutrition, genetics, reproduction, behavior of mo multiple different species. You get technology and business information, uh, management skills, and you're going to be working on all kinds of different species. So cattle, sheep, pigs, horses, um, companion animals, dogs and cats, poultry. Um, and these programs are gonna prepare you for advanced degrees also. So if you want to go to vet school, if you wanna get a master's in education, if you, um, they, ha they do have those degrees out there where you can get um, advanced degrees, teaching credentials um, in the healthcare industry, in business and teaching. So what are you gonna look for when you're looking for a school to go to? So you wanna know that the animal science department offers courses in your area of a specialization. So you want to go into 
production management on a poultry farm. You want to make sure that they offer those courses for you. If you're looking that this is your starting off point to go to vet school, then you want to make sure that they have all the pre-vet requirements that you need to take. You also want to make sure that the program meets the I already said that, I'm sorry. Um, you have a chance to take part in um, research. Uh, a lot of schools do research, and this is especially important, one, to get extra schooling, extra experience, but it's also, if you're going to go and get an advanced degree, it really looks good on your, your um, credentials. Um, you want to make sure that it's a good facility, that they offer a lot, that there's hands-on labs, that you go to animal facilities, that they really show you um, a lot of the how-tos and you get a really well-rounded um, education. Um, and then you also want to see if they have um, internship programs, research jobs, um, things like that you can take to get more experience in your field. That always looks good when you're looking for a job after college. So how are you going to prepare yourself to go to college for an animal science degree? So the first thing you want to do is you want to expose yourself to as many animal experiences as possible. Get a job or volunteer at some kind of lab. Um, work on a farm, shadow a vet. Go um, volunteer at the zoo or a wildlife facility. Get as many experiences as, as, as you can. Um, contact the schools that you're looking at going to see if they have educational um, opportunities. Cornell has a lot of opportunities um, for people that are interested in dairy, horse. Um, there's a um, a summer program every year for kids that are interested in animal science or vet medicine where they can go and be practice being a vet. Um, shadow people that are in the industry that you're looking at. Make sure it's something you want to do. Uh, I worked in veterinary medicine for 20 years and I worked with a lot of vet students and it was amazing to me how many vet students started vet school and had never worked in a veterinary hospital. So make sure it's something that you want to do. Talk to, a lot of people think, oh, I just, they, they picture themselves being a vet, but they don't really know what the job is going to be. So make sure that you talk to people that have the job that you want and make sure that it's something that you're going to be. Get all the details and not this um, amazing idea in your head of what you think it's going to be. It's not always a dream. Um, and know their requirements for school. So make sure that you have all your requirements ahead of time um, from when you graduate from high school. Make sure that um, when you're going to school, uh, you taking all the classes that you need to take in order to have the job that you want when you graduate. So you want to go and get a graduate degree after you get your undergraduate degree. The most important thing you can do is get experience. Get those internships, get those resource positions, volunteer, make sure you have the experience under your belt. That's the most important thing that you can do if you want to go to grad school. So here's a couple of resources. This first one, as it says Holland um, Hexagon, is actually kind of almost a quiz on what your ideal career would be. Um, it's put out from Purdue University who um, has a, a big animal science program also. They also have a vet school. And what you do is there are six corners of this hexagon and each one uh, it tells you, you, you pick it depending on what you think you are. Are you artistic? Are you business? Are you good at math? Um, and then it tells you the jobs that you might be good at. Um, Cornell has a great page for um, animal science careers. It lists hundreds of careers that you can pick and we'll give you details about what kind of graduate degree you need versus just um, on the job training and what it entails. Um, and then Ag Careers also has something very similar where it just profiles different careers in the animal science pathway. Um, so check those out and I will put them in the comments section. Does anybody have any questions? Please put them in the comment section and I will answer them. Thanks a lot.